Yeah, I feel like Rick Ross here. I think I'm Big Gweech, Larry Hoover, <laughs> whip and work, hallelujah. Because Weechmo is known for being absolutely demonic at guitars. One of the greatest guitars you would ever see. Gweechaboo, the guitar menace. I was saying Gui was one of the best guitar players in NA. He might just be the best guitar player in the game. He really just might be. I know a lot of people play like Asuri or other different guitar legends, but no one's doing it like Gui at this top level. In the trial of Ymir and Gucci was starting off with recovery, no recovery. That's something that you're only going to be seeing on the bay. <laughs> Holy cow, look at him bring him off stage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Is that it? No, it's it. That oh, he, he goes over the net. He did the extra. He the did. bottom of the stage. Gucci was the best freaking guitar player in North America. What was that? He so didn't care anymore. He didn't care it, about being better than Anonymous Alex. Oh my god! And yes he, he does not! not. Yes he no, does. he oh does god. not! He does not care a single bit. Guichi Boo is like, alright, bro, you had your fun. It was a fun little set. You got a couple of attacks. Oh my off. god, Guichi <laughs> Boo! Oh my lord. Oh, he has get no dodge. Yep. He has That's no dodge. Guichi Boo! Soul is just, like, so scared right now. And gets a nightmare! Oh, what? Yeah. what? Oh my- What? What is that? Guichi Boo has no dodge. Gets a dot badge just in time. Recovery, can he get the gimp? Potentially? Oh! The gimp! He said, he said. Oh, he got it! But Grigi Boost might be okay, Poised to take his first podium against a former world champion and attempting to do so in 3 0 fashion. And so far, it's looking pretty <laughs> good! It's Grigi oh, Just deletes no the way. first stock! Which about getting around that, considering the short range of an arm. Now, having Fear oh. dodge gets him into the dark yellow here already. On the second side. Oh, what? Beer accidentally SDZ does it oh. put the wall. Not gonna touch, I don't think. Oh, you think no. who did actually? No, oh. No. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, what? That's gonna be action tonight for sure. And with that, Gwenjabu, are you no kidding me? He just way. kicked Meg D again. He can't even land. Truck stop keeps <laughs> him in the air. Holy smokes. Oh. Oh, that's huge! Oh my, oh my goodness! God. He's gonna have the advantage, and realistically, Anonymous might because he has the range. Oh, yeah. maybe not, I don't know. Hammer into guitars is not the greatest matchup for Hammer. So I wouldn't be surprised if... Oh, Guichibu! Oh my God. Oh, maybe we get a 3 sock from Guichibu, one of her official sets in game 2, uh, hey. game 3, sorry. <laughs> maybe possibly, I mean, Guich is looking fired up, getting oh, all these yeah, dodge out, yeah, gets yeah, the yeah. spare to end it off! He's not alive for Guichibu to get his ground and his, his step in, but now Guichibu with that cannon is starting to make a mess here! Look at him go with cannon! Whoa! So I think he'll stick with Theros. But he has to have Reason platform control Ooh. to do that though, man! And oh, Guichibu, no look at you go crazy! Anonymous. No, oh he my come back. Look at that! However, Guichibu does get his famous k -tars. Going for the clip! He went for the clip! And he got the clip! Yeah, this we'll is see a... if, uh... Oh. See if he makes a mistake like that again. This is possible. Oh my- Already?! Oh, never mind, I'm gonna be quiet! <laughs> Man, I was listening a little earlier, and I, uh, I, I, I gotta say, I, I love how how Ben says guitars, man. It's, it's so oh funny. my god. Okay, as I'm checking that, Guichi, I'm trying to get a little compliment in there, but he's like, nah, nah, nah. We're, it's it's pack watch time. Has the recovery? No. Oh. Dude, how many of those have we seen not make a connection today? It's gotta be oh, it's like two or three! He almost got the three stock there. Chose not he to wants punish it. the landing. He wants Whoa. it! I thought he was gonna get the additional stock. Don't do this to him! Don't him. do this to him! It is an all comes down to Gucci Boo, but it is a three to one stop situation. Oh, no! What? <laughs> no way! Guitars with hammer, especially with Ooh. the high decks that he has. A D sig going on. Another D sig. That's Ooh. gonna be a gimp. That's it's almost even now. Off that gimp right there. Goichi about firing back. Yeah, he's already hitting some damage to start off the stock. He's got the momentum. It feels like hitting yeah. these dares, trying to get the double dare read. Oh, right. catches the yeah, catches landing there, and then catches the read. Oh, he puts him in the red with just one read right there. Guys, the guitars again, and another read. Oh. Oh. That's gonna be the first. 
And they could have taken out Weechaboo and then tried to do the 2v1. Okay, all right. Weechaboo oh, no. is just going to take out Marky like that. Yeah. So you just have to make sure you time the hitbox of that side stick, right? Oh, oh. the grab out hits. I mean, if, if you're pressure. Weechaboo and you're so used to playing Queen, uh, not Queen Knight, playing Lin Fei, Lin Fei. who has mm -hmm. such a low attack power that you you swap over to the Zol. Yeah. Playing Zol must feel like a treat. Like yeah. like it's it's a, it's a bonus having so having the ability to find those knockouts so much earlier. Dude, Paris, you gotta stop doing all these taunts, man. I mean, I, I guess Grichimo is losing the mental matchup of trying to pun it. If you punish an emo, you're evil. You're evil, Grichimo. You're evil, dude. Why would you yep. do it? Still in this though. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. ouch. Oh, oh. Meg D looking pretty dang healthy. And uh, this is uh this is not what I expected to see. This is scary for Meg D specifically. We've seen Guichabu get our way with some terrifying stuff and opening up confident. That's what if you're Guichabu, you need that confidence. You need to show Meg D that you are not shaken. Well, what has just happened because again Guishabu was poised to go 3-0 into the winner's side of grand finals and now Meg D looking to get the reverse three of his own and Guishabu needs to hop off and needs to show it to Meg D that he wants this victory and so far untouched on this fast stock don't want to cast this curse it but Guishabu looking to at least open this game up a lot more confident it's crazy how he's able to find like recoveries and oh. specifically like double recoveries more than anybody else. Is he about to get a clean stock here? Surely not. Surely not. Surely not, Sparky. Surely not. Dude, I'm just, I'm waiting for the recovery connection. I feel like it's almost inevitable <laughs> at this point. Oh! oh okay. Trace now over on the cannon. Probably gonna be looking for a little bit more damage, maybe a nice long string coming in from. Oh my god, Yufris is getting chopped up right now by Gooch. Over on the guitarist, man. Gooch has almost slapped him back in damage. Okay, goes for the ground pound, not connecting. Wow, what a recovery. Yeah, damage is even right now, and this is not what Yufris wants in the game. Number one, that Jesus side save picks him up. You're dead. Gonna fucking dodge. <laughs> yeah. You like, actually got, I, I don't know if he got you at the spot dodge, but it's literally guaranteed. Did you see that? Like the clip on Twitter? Uh, I don't know that a lot of that game was very telling because of, you know, just, just that fall from Weech. So it, can Nova have all that momentum with, you know, all the stocks of Gweech? I don't know. These guitars are popping off. That dodge out's gonna get caught by Gweech. Oh, and the GC side take to finish it off. Can name any person that plays Lin Fei better than the Gweech. And Money Holla, oh my god, three recoveries. on the recoveries, by the way. Stay on these guitars. This might be over for Money Holla if. Oh, we'll get some nice gunpowder. Get some air. Oh, we'll get some air into the third And that fits the stock. Wow. Money Holla playing really aggressive right now. Rapid. Oh, but Queen's supposed to slow down. Wow. Wobbs is just going down a lot earlier. And Alex uh, really doesn't have to do that much for Queen's Boo because Queen's Boo's just oh, playing so incredibly terrible. well. Doing it in style. Ground pound, raw. This is a dead even game right now, and Guichibu's oh, feeling yeah. himself. This is a co more confident Guichibu mm. than we've seen in the last few games, and it's very scary. And right now, we're either going to see a, a game five, or we're going to see Raidish move on in this bracket. Guichibu is going to turn up here, having that damage advantage. The damage build! Can he catch the... Why? Recovering nothing! Oh my gosh, very tense scenario. He needs to find the KO that he hasn't been able to find those last few games, but can he do it? Finding oh, all oh, the damage he needs, but not the recovery. <gasps> recovery kills! We're each going to rock those Katars and Cannon. Starting off in this Cannon, Paris was actually able to get 
a great lead so far. However, Gleech catching that dodge, managing to take that stock just like that. Oh yeah, it is definitely looking rough, but um, I think Meow's more of an adaptation player, more of a slow a player that's like likes to take things slow, get an ad get a reading on their opponent, and then they pop off. I mean, time and time again, we've seen it where. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Just dominance. Like, we've seen him play Munin, we've seen him play the Caspian. Like, all four of of the weapons on both Munin and, and, and Caspian don't carry over to Dusk! And so far, we might be seeing how that could be an issue for Lampy, as Guichabu just running away with this first stock, finds the down air as well, looking for this edge guard still, finds the ground pound, and a complete zero to death! Kind of been uh, championing the Qataris, at least out of this matchup, a bit more, as we can see, really start to come through. Magdi's really only been able to get chip damage on the Qataris, while Meg Guichabo just getting read and react after hey. read and react. Wanting to definitely do a lot better than last game. I mean, uh, oh, Alex huge. getting an instant three stock is not going to be able to do that this game. Slowly, most of the time, but every once in a while, picks up the pick. What? The... I'm surprised they didn't okay. kill. <laughs> I was He's really gonna expecting that too. He's gonna make a bad off of his, we can make it back. He has no options. Ground pound's gonna. No, no, no. We're weird. going in to game <laughs> two of this average length NA match. <laughs> yup. Um, we're actually oh, over on my huge home. Huge. Oh, Guichabu! Oh no. Um, first time making top eight at an official event. So big congratulations to Bunny. But, you know, the job's not over, of course. You're going to be trying to push as far as you can in the bracket. But Guichibu is a rough pool indeed oh. as Guichibu oh, goes oh, oh. all the way down for the edge guard. Do y'all even make a lot of money off for all Uh, I mean, <laughs> last year I did. I don't know much oh, about man. this year. Of these people, bro. bro, it's you, <laughs> like, it's you, man. Up, it's you. Good punish by Darwin, but still Ooh. not massive damage. The side air coming in. Gucci looking for the edge guard. Oh. Gravity cancel side heavy. I'm gonna be excited to see uh, how well Woodkid can, you know, utilize the eggs of Gucci Boo. Um, are they gonna be too slow? Are they gonna be, you know, not fast enough? Or is it just gonna be is something going to that happens? <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, Gucci Boo! Oh Guichibu definitely has some time to adapt and figure out the boost matchup, but as Guichibu, being a very good player, is no stranger to boots as Dude. he takes the first stock. The sense has been actually uh, like amazing and not getting Webstar too severely here, but Guichibu is taking advantage of that and getting all of these neutral wins to stack up so much damage. Sense looked for a jump read with that end oh, but you're goodness. suffering because of that GC. It's just all but over when you give Guich any dodge. Of the Grand Finals, of course, Alex, like we have been saying on that winner's side, a lot of time to adapt, if you will. Regardless, Guichibu still <laughs> racking up that damage on the very first stock of theirs. I mean, opening up Grand Finals with a 3-0 would be something else. Dude, it would be. I mean, Guichibu just, just with the gravity cancel silent. Anonymous Alex. Beautiful shot and, and actually got scared. Off of Demon Island's wall, that's that's momentum. If I've ever seen it, Guichibu is playing like a madman. Yeah, but in terms of the momentum right now, Sandstorm is—he's won the last two games. Yeah, this could be the reverse 3-0 for the set from Sandstorm after getting reverse three stock. Oh, like what? Ground pound? Ground pound? Oh, GC DC going unarmed. Sandstorm still able to get back. Oh, but huge DC on cannon from. Guichibu. Trying to let Guichibu approach, get some of that, you know, take advantage of the fact that Guichibu's low defense, trying to bait in some attacks, get that parry. But Guichibu not afraid. You're already getting a lot of early damage Ooh. on with these Katars. Goes for a Nair off stage, another Nair. Oh, Meow, shut up, one the dodge in the ground pound. Oh. KO right now. 
and he's looking for that right option. Okay, Guichiro gets oh! to read. Has done the stage. There, Sarah. Is it gonna be enough? Sarah to read the dodge in. That was such a good option. Fun, but it's Delight recovery means that he's gonna go down to his last stock. Cider comes through. That could be terminus stock for Guichiro as well. No, ends up going for. Oh, and there comes God. through, and Guichiro just <laughs> trades stock for stock. Absolutely worth it from that deficit. I mean, overall, I mean. There's nothing bad I can say about either of these players. I mean, they're both really solid, and they just they know how to play their character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that definitely goes to show for for Guich here. Able to get all these God, dodge these guitars. Money, money has to react to these uh, these guitars a lot differently. They do not want Guich racking up all this damage. Looking for that D light and reverse recovery. But no. Oh, look for that weapon throw. Able to GC right above it and get that side stick off. We should be gonna be struggling I'm, to get we, a weapon. We are the winners. I think. I think this might be best of five. Oh, oh no. Oh <laughs> my god. Hey, deep stick there. It's looking pretty bad for Alex. Um, I mean, granted, you know, let's say it goes down 0-2. Hell, even 0-3 still has that reset to come. Does not want it to go that far though. Definitely not in our oh mindset. God, that ground dude. pound managing to continue the guitar. Oh pound. my gosh! DC side sit more. Maybe a Sare. No. Look for that dare. Alex back on stage. Oh, and Sage's no. not gonna oh, hit. No. Waste of resource so that he can go in right afterwards. Ground pound into down air Sare. Ooh, Ooh that chase dodge forward, waiting as long as possible to try to get even more damage on landing. Can he get picked up? No, he can't. Can't get the down light weapon throw. <gasps> Gets the pick up with the ground pound? What? That was brilliant. That was. That I, was... I can't. I wish that led to a stock so that we could get the clip of the highlight. I mean, the N6 still hits. The Nair could come through. But Guichibo with the side sting off the weapon throw bounce still gets it. He's three stocks up to one. We're going to Demon Island. They're letting Guichibu have Demon Island. Mm, okay, just real quick. One thing I want to mention, I just saw something in chat. Shout out to the Macho Munchkin. Uh, Ma Macho Munch Munchkin, yeah. That's such a weird name. Um, for pointing this out, but Guichibu, since being put into the lower bracket, has not lost a single game. Has 3 0'd their way all the way into lower final and is so far playing like someone who is poised to 3 0 Radish. Always been playing Lin Fei, honestly. Yeah, he's been playing Lin Fei for the longest yeah. time. And he's showing why. It's a nice side stick. Doesn't kill though. Yeah, this, he finally, this is what he gets. This is what he gets. He gets. Oh! Stop him! <laughs> that was the first stop him. Oh my god. He still gets it. Hitting him with their nair, ground pound, weapon throws. Hitting him with the entire kitchen and the sink. Like, he's he just getting smacked up off, off there. And no, oh we should be looking for read. more. Still continuing still the going. What the hell is going on? He still hit him. Woodkid has not retaliated or had retaliation work at all for like the past 10 years. Woodkid, do something. Hit him. He's right there, I promise. It's possible. And there he goes. Finally breaking the silence after getting absolutely massacred for probably like half of his stock. What was that? I'll, oh no, it's Guichibu with another read. Oh, no. Caught over. the dodge. It's, you know, they're going hit for hit. I really don't know who's going to win this. Guichibu is one, you know, one read off, one side light in there. Oh, and, huge. Oh, there's that read I was talking about. <gasps> Can he confirm this? I think that might be... Oh, gets back to stage, gets Barely. the dodge refreshed. Barely. Guichibu, no weapon. He's so... I'd say, oh, oh my god! This could be a KO here. It could be. Oh, it doesn't catch the landing there. Unfortunate. Okay, he's not getting punished for that GC. Getting Ensig there. Another chase with the Nair. There, there. Now it's completely even. Another Ensig is going to oh connect. And recovery is a chase. Very power prepped character, Lin Fei. Just has been getting these silent buffs on a bunch of their moves. I mean,. He's got a solid lead going into, you know, Cutie's second stock. Once again, Cutie's gonna need to find a KO. He can't really get, like, advantaged. He can't just get stringed into oblivion. He has to really fight back here. He can't let it, like, escalate. And it's not looking good. Oh my, Guichibo is just looking phenomenal here, continuing to secure these knockouts and this damage. Guichibo right now on the verge of being a whole two stocks wow. ahead. Especially if he's able to secure the stock, and he is! Catches. Till he picked up the cannon, that's when he got knocked out. Oh man. Anime struggling to get his footing in this game number two. 
Weichi will try to end it all. Oh my god, and he does right there. Second stock gone. <laughs> all right, on this Miami Dome. Grand finals. Reach about in the loser's side. Remember that. So he has to win two sets if he does want to win the tournament. Thank you feeling a little bit better about that. But already, which about starting off, putting Fakie into the orange, wasting no time to get these reads. Already hasn't been touched. And the D-Light Sarah, oh. this is a zero to death. Oh, oh he got it. Zero, zero to death, starting off the grand finals. Continue to advance in this bracket. And right now, this is the, their final shot or could potentially be their final shot. So they have to give it oh. all they have. Wow, off the start, we should be getting one quick little cannon read and just extending a lock. Oh my gosh, and he's pushing the advantage even further. Radish is already into the red, 20 seconds in, sides he catches, and that is the first stock. Radish getting Ooh absolutely tossed around. This is interesting to see. But let's just see how Guichibu plays out this stock for the rest. I mean, he's got a huge lead to work with. This is looking really, really great for him. You know, I've seen Guichibu in tons and tons of community tournaments, and I, I always get the pleasure of commentating his matches, so I've definitely seen an evolution with this player, and I can definitely see them continue to, to place top in these major tournaments, especially in these community tournaments. So, uh, Raidish definitely has a, a very strong opponent here. This is a clash of the Titans, and Raidish right now needs Ooh. to adapt some way, somehow. And she's just now anime unarmed into guitars. This could be very difficult, especially since he's probably going to be picking up uh, uh, gauntlets, if I remember correctly, unless he doubled down cannon. I don't know. It doesn't really matter now. Guichiro has uh, guitars doubled down and has made some beautiful work in the past few minutes of gameplay. Good grief. This has Lin Fei's name written all over it. The man just won't stop. He's still going. <laughs> like how do you yeah. work? I mean, I'm gonna hit, I'm hitting him with the weapon, but it's like it doesn't even matter. Yeah, they're not reading every match. Yeah, I agree to be honest. Yeah. On the red team, we you by yourself. I don't think he's gonna be able to do it this time, man. Oh my god! He just. Guichibu! Hello? Guichibu! What is going on up there? Comes down to this. And it's going to be fantastic to see how both of these players will do. But Guichibu getting that early kill onto Anonymous Alex will be stock one. And he gets the another extended Qatar read. Oh my god, no. Don't do my boy Anonymous Alex like this. You gotta stop. You gotta spare a person. Oh my god, he almost got another dodge read off of that. Wow, this guy is actually going wild. And the read. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Guichiba also has Alex red. Alex hasn't really been able to pick up many of these reads. Also, just because he hasn't really had been, he hasn't really had the space to try oh and find that. He just canceled that just with an M light. Guichiba tries to find something there and anime gets a little bit of damage you're gonna need a lot more of that without taking much more of your own you have high defense but i mean guichibu we've seen what the damage output looks like on the guitars anime with a big edge guard opportunity with the neutral light guichibu flips it with the nair gets two and now the juggle continues for guichibu anime stuck in the corner has to force himself off stage using the nair to try to give a little bit of space but guichibu a sig finally connects that holds onto the wall Ooh. and now another ground pound comes through the nair sends down Ooh. and guichibu Ooh. closes it out on the guitars maybe some of the game is going towards Bunny's favor as guichibu is starting to pair some respect and starting to be a little bit about some of the ways he's approaching doesn't want to sacrifice this first stock for anything too greedy and is able to land the d sig to slow down the guitars it's gonna be interesting to see how these players catch but here we are game one grand finals of a moonlit stardom number two here we go yeah anonymous alex and agrichibu here ready for grand finals they're gonna hit it off in neutral. Now Alex finally able to get a weapon. Try not to give any dodges to the guitars of Guichibu, as we've seen. Definitely a lethal competitor. Able to weapon starve. Looking for that GC side sick. Ooh, looking for that side light as well, just because of the options. But Alex trying to get rid of Guichibu's stock. Not gonna work whatsoever. But now it's it's even after after hitting that huge combo. 
but back on the guitars. Deezing his sightseeing hits! Same, but we should be getting around all of these attacks. Looking like the first stock. Oh my goes. goodness! She's side special. Wow, wow, wow. It looked like Truck Stop for a second was trying to get off that hammer. Oh my god, just another raw side sig. But, um. Oh my goodness. Okay. I've seen Whoa. too many games. I've lost oh, too many games. Oh, the huge punish! Oh my goodness. This fucking Sig just whirlwind hits the whole stage Sig. He just throws it out in there. Tornado. Because that's Loki. It's fairly even on the second game, which is surprising given the lead that Guichibu had, but just catches one dodge in from Menti, and all of a sudden, same thing for Guichibu. Almost came off, came off the left side, but Guichibu not able to find it. Still hunting afterwards, too. Not able to do it. Just an unarmed end light. Not a great punish off of that because he doesn't have a weapon yet. And Megdi needs so many hits, a small little hill to climb, but so much no dodge catch for the GCD light. Michibu oh. beats him out with the gravity light. Just the way priority oh. works in this game. Sightseeing, not gonna do it. Megdi barely alive right now. Oh, you got signature again. Oh, oh. Yeah, Queech, definitely that milestone that a lot of players have to just beat out in tournament. That's what Moni's looking for right now. Like I was saying. Elimination semi-final, we're going here. This decides who ends their tourney run at fourth and who continues into third place and maybe beyond. We got Money versus Gweech. Gweech is on that Linfei, able oh. to get that D-Sig, get that Falling Sair, and Money is going to lose the first stock. Ah, uh, hell nah. And he is out and we are, of course, both players almost completely even here on final oh. stocks. Java needs to get over to that weapon so we can get away from these Katara initiations that Guichibu has got on him. Nice. Yeah, and playing off the side here, trying to avoid it. Guichibu catches the recovery, but still, yeah, like you said, Java playing up high, trying to avoid the grounded pressure that Katara's can exert. Does have Nair, does have side air, as we see right there. Java feeding off the right with the recovery as well. Using a lot of options, getting a lot of respect to Guichibu's edge guard here. Gets caught with the down sick though. Will he close it out? Yes, he will. But, I mean, this is the moment where we can see mm -hmm. the upset, right? So, I just hope we see some yeah. fights. Yeah, and I'm liking, so you're seeing the blue team really stick together. And they're really removing that center control from Hardy with his greatsword. Yeah. But also, Hardy, and I, I like seeing the iconic character. Pet. Oh my Ooh. god, <laughs> Hey, oh. that was my tournament. Hey. <laughs> no, you won't. Yeah, that's cool and all, but last time they last time Meg D won was Moose Wars Frozen Fury. Oh, for real? Yes, but it's seven seven in the set. You're right, you're However, right. However, Gleechbo has one Crazy. more game than Meg D, so that's a little interesting. I'm excited to see how this plays, but Meg D's not playing the Val like I thought was gonna happen. He's actually playing the Hatori. So that's definitely gonna be an interesting pick, but a nice side thing there. Playing with someone good, we're still waiting. Play with someone. Oh, oh, you're saying Gooey's not good? Oh, you're pretty valid for that. And so far in this game, not quite as successfully as I think you would have hoped if you're a Lampy fan. Yeah, it looks like he just said, "Oh, Lin Fei, forgot that was a character. Did not practice against that one." But oh, Gooey's yeah. with these D lights and D lights oh, and yeah, D lights. Dude. And Impala is able to close out some of these stocks sooner. Impala is getting a lot of jump callouts, but okay, sure. GCN sick, fine. That's a really nice way to get it from all the way down there. Uh, but you have. Oh, okay. Entic okay. looks really nice on that skin, but it's, a, uh, it's a very pretty animation. Dancer comes through. This is oh, Gucci Bruno, get back. Weapon throw comes down. Tries to get the egg drop there. Recovery comes through. That could be it. Nair hits. Impala didn't touch. Okay. You cannot expect to find an advantage with or without a weapon. And um, this is just. <laughs> I want to see is, how long this is going to go on. I want to see. This is on. exciting gameplay, ladies see. and gentlemen. This is beautiful. So with this going on, I know that I can have a couple seconds to talk. Um, yeah, definitely. So, Guichibu having two games up on Darwin. Th this is definitely uh, making it a little challenging for Darwin, <laughs> not going to approach.
However, Gritibu is going to slowly approach there with those weapon throws, but no, goes right back. Hackle, how's your day been, man? It's been good, man. It's yeah. been good. It's been a bit of a slow day, just gearing yeah. up for this tournament. Just, um, yeah, I feel it. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're about no. okay. Okay, that's we, we start, gonna come out. I see, I see how it is. Yeah. No, I see how it is. We start yeah, to have okay. a chat. We talk, we talk about how our day's been, and then the moment that starts, starts happening, they play the game. I yeah. get it. No, I get it. The grandpa comes in. Definitely not. Definitely not in Java's favor, though. Neutral signature coming out, though. New, no options. Sweatbeats coming out. He did touch the ground there inside of the Qatar sideline, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, recovery comes out. Gooey finding another read. Nice. Again, with the confidence offstage. I oh smell another nice. share. It comes out. He keeps playing like that. It's 2-1 in favor of Gooey. We're here on Apocalypse. And uh, same legends, different drip. Gooey is popping off like he does. Oh, yeah. Like... At this point, I don't even know what you do. He's just on a roll right now. I I can't even like give it any vice to sense because I only take the one game. He's already taken the one game, and there's nothing you can really do. Guijibu, as soon as like you use a dodge, no matter where you are on the map, he'll like turn around and like like just come at you for whatever reason. He'll just be like, oh my god, dodge god, oh my god, it's time. That he played so far today, either the Nash or the Thor. I think the Linfei is like as good and has the potential to be better as Guichabu gets a massive string. Of course, gets the dodge, turns it around, goes for the half pipe, and then closes out with a Qatar ground pound over on the left stage or left side. That got real bad so fast, and Guichabu looks to continue the terror. Finds a down light. The half pipe proneness with no dodge gets down sick. Again, another down sick comes That's through. It. The cider closes it out. Guichibu taking two stocks, barely in the yellow. What is going on? They were they heard that I said that they wouldn't find each other much, but we are now in Guichibu versus Bunny territory. Who finds a big side sick? Bunny offstage in a bad spot. Guichibu with the ground pound weapon toss. Bunny's gone too. Guichibu oh. takes another one. What's going on? Qatars make me so mad. I'm trying. Dude, it's, to it's all Qatars, man. I'm holding it back. I'm holding back <laughs> my rage for Qatars right now because it's also it's not just Qatars. This creature be playing very well, especially like opening up that the the stock that he took just a second ago. It's still going. It's so it's still going, I'm Sparky. So it, mad make it stop, Qatars, Sparky. <laughs> please, somebody just take out Guichibu, please. What is going on? They could they could take six stocks by themselves here with this rate of play. I mean, Faith already looking to lose theirs as they get gravity cancel down light into the ground pound. That's four stocks for Guichibu. Guichibu still not even in the red. Maybe a hundred damage on Guichibu here. And the Qatar stay. Forget the cannon. I don't need it. Cronus now with an attempt on the Qatar mirror once again. But the Qatar mirror has been bad for the red team. You need to switch over to the axe with some haste because Guichibu is looking to take the clean sweep. What is going on? So one thing I just noticed is like in 2v2 you'll get like the little title at the top of the screen that goes dominating when you take three stocks without losing yours. It seems like that doesn't exist in in crew battles, unfortunately, because like Weechibu might end up earning like the godlike. What's going on? CCB light into the ground pound. <laughs> That's uh, fine. Weechibu that was crazy. You will never be snowy racks. I I win this. Okay. You think I don't? That's funny. Okay. Where is he going? No! Why did you go for it? Bro. You're oh so unoptimal. I'm going that. Why did you go for the non jump read? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I mean, yeah, still have, you know, that that loser's bracket, that lower bracket to work with, but you don't want to go down, especially when, you know, the winner of the set gets top eight, but it's looking like there's just no shot with how solid Goichip is playing right now. You know, Meow gets that one opening, but what else is there off of it? There's just so much more per hit from Goichibu, and Meow is just not able to really hold this position that you get off those stray hits. And you can just see Meow asking Goichibu to come over X at this point. Oh my. And come over he did with those last possible say Trying to style. That is some ghost pressure I've ever seen. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like I was saying before, Goichibu's last set. It's like someone with light speed going against oh, someone. Oh my my And he'll be going to fall over it. That, that he, he practically tipped over the wheelchair at that point. Guijibo has been getting upset after upset after upset after upset after upset. This man is not playing! Oh my god! Oh.
good. Jesus Christ. He's going to be able to have enough to get back there. They're Bubble Guppy's just standing there. Wait a second. What's happening? Oh, oh no. no. That is super unfortunate. Taking not a good placement. Ensign's trying to place him. Oh, huge. He's going to get that dodge read. Definitely going to even up a lot more flaming. I mean, Shrek's up trying to find these signatures. We with a huge read. We get like Three, small brawl here. Really yeah, like, yeah. Come on, guys. Like, <laughs> can we just play small brawl even the, the entire tournament? Come on. Nah, I'd rather not. Uh, I, I like to see some map variety. I like to see some platforms. Who's who's with me, guys? Halo, all right? Who's yeah, with me? guys. Man, I love platforms. I want to be on Mishima Dojo. You know, don't get too far. <laughs> Uh, going right into this next game, Dark Nova is going to be clearly a bit more damaged. And, uh, Weech, not really oh, that type of sick. player. Oh, he gave me get that ground pound. Amazing wow. spacing. Yeah, Weech, you know, they understand that if they don't need to take the lead, they're not necessarily gonna. However, those guitars are, are deadly, and if he chooses to, it'll just pop off. Currently oh. doing the guitar infinite right now. I Dark don't. Nova is not dodging out of it. Dark, Dark Dark Nova is not Dark Nova is not happy right now. I don't. Dark I have Nova no idea what is going put on. Put down the control. Or actually, it might be a disconnect. Honestly. Yeah, it's a disconnect. It looks like. We know his stats set up in a way that if you are winning interactions 50-50, you're basically winning the game because your stats are so good on the defense and attacking. Correct. Ooh. Great GC D6 sending him home. Nikal and Mitchell can just link to this game and be like, yeah, but then how did we take a game off Gucci Bell and Toast? Like, what what do you mean, man? Right, I would have been really interested to see um, that set and see how they did against Luna and Snowy. Um, He's about finding a way to get it, but now he has to extend this lead. He has to. Oh my god, and that's gonna oh. probably be able to do it. That there's there. He's gonna be. Oh, he buried oh, the him. way. <laughs> Get a side sig off, amazingly. Look for the recovery. Guich, knowing all too well there. Guich is probably gonna pull out some some epic cannon trickery here. Look for that dare to jump reverse side air. Just everything to mix up sense no matter what. Oh yeah, I don't think he's so too kindly getting mixed at the end of game oh. one. So now he's just doing everything in his power to mix them up. <laughs> Look that dare weapon throw. Going to be taking the second stock. That was close. Good dodge read. Shoutouts to fucking Gucci Bell is actually on a pretty fucking damn good to his character. Sleeper. I don't know why he's never never played that before actually. Just looking for these openings, slowing things right down once again. Oh, but Gucci nice. starting to heat up, finds hit after hit, and now opening up again. We're seeing oh, the same thing tough. as last time. The slap side and Megdi sent down has no options. Not on the Katara's. He's gonna... The read! Oh! I'm like, which wow. could play Grishaboo? Well, I see some gnarly stuff for this cannon. He is... I really should have had more faith in his cannon right there, because he has made a lot of damage. He got the read. Weapons are not connecting, but he's looking very good in this last hit scenario. He oh, just man. needs to find the KO. Yes, it! KOs! He did it! He did it! A good Nair brings Wichbu off of him, however, he is off stage. The double! Double decent gambit! Wrench opting for the great sword now. Wichbu catching the dodge options into the recovery, sending Ooh. Wrench far. Ooh! That's big capitalization on the, the NSIG off the side will secure the knockoff of Wichbu, snaking away the lead. Wrench once again building a small lead. And then just having it snuck away from him like Richabu. Richabu is so good at this momentum play. When he has an advantage, he capitalizes on it so well. And we're seeing it there once again. One dodge burned and so much damage racked up because of it. That is what Katar's mastery Ooh. looks like. And Wrench is going to make the mistake again. Richabu with just a three piece to knock out Wrenched. And that's another stock by Wrench. Just so little value gained from it. And Richabu now two stocks up. Looking even worse than last game right now. Guichibu no collecting way. a big string. He's done. Nice recovery. Yes. Going to disarm Sandstorm. 
And a nice recovery again to knock out. We were able to get two, two D6. GC sidelight into the recovery, not bad. I am worried about some of these signatures oh. coming out because Weechaboo is finding punishes on them and Cronus is throwing them out when like Weechaboo is not anywhere near him. Like that, right there. Yeah. Weechaboo was not anywhere near you. You're just hoping that that's going to hit and Weechaboo was able to get it in time, almost finding the ground Ooh, pound. There's turn. the GC down signature. Weechaboo whiffing. Oh no. Oh, Paizo. He had the signature, bro. It was locked in. Nice recovery uh, from Guichibu uh, taking that stock off a Heizo. But they are nice. so. Oh, oh, wait a second. And Guich anticipating it all too well, able to get the punish, and has now brought drops into red. G baited out with the NC. Oh. Went for the GC side sig and did a one of the best weapon throws I've seen in a while. Guichibu is on a different low. Need a lot of that sword success if they're going to make this big comeback. We'll see if it's possible. Ooh. Yeah, sends him off stage with the recovery. He's able to interrupt any further ledge guard attempts. Bunny just barely dashing around. Doesn't even really punish a lot of the ways that Guichibo is trying to approach. Takes him to the sky with the recovery. Bunny tries to find landing space, but actually exhausted dodge for the GC sideline, even though it was grounded. That is actually very unfortunate. The GC side light kick sends Bunny down. Guichibo. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking so Gucci right now, man. Okay. Let's go our situation. It's going to be huge if we can get this. No, Brady's makes it back. But still, just the damage of Queen Nine is important here. Keeping the stocks close. Not taking that much damage right now. Just getting them two stairs. Might hurt a little bit. A little GC side light. Ugh. Good job. That stone would have really did it for him. That would have ended the game for sure. For sure. Raiders gets his kill quick start. without taking too much damage. I think he takes a 3 0. Oh, tried to get the extreme read there. The no extension. dodge there from Raidish. <laughs> I don't want to call it too early because we've seen Megdi come on back, but Guichibo right now on that second stock and has sent Meg D to their final. This is it. If Guichibo is able to clutch up this stock, Meg D will be out of the tournament and Guichibo will move on in the loser's bracket. Uh, I do not think Meg D wants that to happen. I mean, he needs to bring something out right now, but Guichibo is starting to go off with these Katars. Oh my goodness, bro had a chance to end it. End light recovery, still not enough to KO. Guichibo starting to play around a little bit more. Megdi, tournament stock here, ground pound on ground. Can Guichibo end this? End light into recovery, and there we go. Mm, that's, oh, that was good, that was punished. Oh, wait, that was it punishable? You think Linfice punishable, bro? Oh, Okay, no, this is fine. Hey, Look, camp the platform! Game oh, five. Is Game five. So oh. No! Oh, oh my oh god. Oh my god! Out. No! No! Yeah, Dude, I'm money bits. Bro! Okay. Easy as fuck. It's because my dogs, bro. Oh my god, I'm out of the ambulance. What? No, oh, I'm blaming my dogs on that. So easy for Gooey, bro. Gooey? I'll send the page. Is that how you print it? Gooey? Right, yeah. G-O-O-E-Y. G-U-I. Ensa catches, not KOing just yet, but he's so close. Yeah! <laughs> uh, for this Linfe here is because you can see the damage is building up very quickly, and is he able to stay cool, calm, and collected? Toss an oh anime around, gets the re, but is a falling up to that and fades yeah. back to the edge for this side sig. And that might end up coming back to bite him in the butt a little bit later here because now it means you're gonna have more opportunities to get weapon starved and that's exactly what we're seeing from Guichibu here. Oh, you don't have your great sword? Well, now you have to play the game unarmed and it's not working out for you. Jeez. Going for the GC side light down there, but Money Hala is going to be able to sustain his dock, but not for long. Yeah, but the, he doesn't need the guitars to get a KO. He, gets the, he has the cannon, nice and sig. And Goichibo is starting to take off. I mean, the blast from the canyon acting as propellant. Meg D cannot find any footing in this game. These guitars from Goichibo coming out. There's no way. This... There's no this way with is... three socks. There's no way. 
It doesn't happen. No, 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 no way. Fair. Fair. Uh -uh, there, look, at this. No way. look at this. Nope. Nope. Megdi gets the stock right here. Right here? Right here. Doesn't KO. Nope. Right here. He gets it right. Megdi gets it right here. No three stock. Nope. Okay. You know what? I'll believe you. Watch. I believe in Megdi. He comes back. He comes back. Look at this. He's dead. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no way. Three stars. Yes. We've seen it yep. happen tonight where they've came back. Um, but it's going to take a lot of momentum for Guichi Bill. And right now he's got Sandstorm in that yellowish orange. While he is landing a lot of different attacks, they're not doing as much damage as he needs to really come back here. But maybe I am lying a little bit because Gucci with the down into GC neutral knocks out Sandstorm. But Darko was trying to go in. Now with these signatures trying to do a lot more damage. Which but kind of has to play a little bit careful. They're going to catch that dodge read down. Sig is Darko ever going to be able to make it back? They cannot. And Sig there. I don't know what that was about. I'm going to be real. Really, there's not a whole lot to say about double guitars. I mean, it's just guitars. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> it, it, I don't know what to say about that, for real. <laughs> it, it, it just, it just be a... Uh... Oh. Reach was looking to cook there a little bit. I mean, has brought this game to where, you know, anyone could take this at this very moment. But Truck wants to get that dare, maybe a quick little recovery. But no, nothing. Ooh. There in Edlight. Greech wants to read that dodge. Truck has not been given to him whatsoever. Ah, oh, all gonna stakes. disarm. They're just out positioning Truck, I think. Good Guichi mode. Oh, Gravity cancel oh, side stick. Oh, oh my classic, gosh. The classic Guichi boot tech. Truck stop trying to be patient here and he's he actually went for a d -Zig there but he wasn't able to get to it because Wichibu with those amazing ktar startup times just, there's nothing truck can do if which was able to get on top of him like he is right here and that is another stop oh, for oh. which <laughs> uh, like ground pound amazing work by him in this game oh yeah this is really going to show that what you mentioned before with that unorthodox gameplay style is just paying off for this team Ooh. Double recovery from Guichi Boo there is going a little insane. RPMJ with some beautiful spacing tactics. Nice Seraphine. Ooh. Damn. And that's so game three. Oh, for sure. I mean, sure, the damage might look a little bit better for Bo, but I don't think that really means a We saw last game, Meg D was red last stock. But, I mean, still taking the win. But right now, Guichibo has a lot of momentum. Meg D cannot find any opening. Trying to go for a dodge up. Another dodge in. Guichibo with a down light and weapon throw. Please. Guichibo is silent. His cuts hard. They're so solid. I mean, I've, I've seen, like, I think FaZe on even struggle against the guitars. I mean, they're so quick, they're, I mean, they're just so dead. It, Dude, insane. I mean, not me, clearly. Oh, clearly, oh. I'm just, yeah, clearly, I'm, go, I'm, I'm not going. Yeah, but guys, I, I'm just good at it. I'm just good at it. Oh, oh no. down sting! No way! Reachable. Reachable. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. Let's see what Balloon Boy can do about this. Yeah, Balloon Boy, he has to hit a big... I mean, first of all, he has to get him out of this first stock. And that GC is not going to help because he gets put into the orange. After that alone, he's going crazy with these guitar hits right now. Balloon Boy cannot find the KO. That's it. Goes out. Nothing connects for both players. But now, Dujabaz is looking like he's about to three stock. Balloon Boy is just... Yeah, he's done. He took too many nair. He took too, too many damage hits. Yeah. And he just... Decided that is not worth the mental damage. He's gonna go on to the next game. The guitar is a lot. Okay, and now what he needs to do is just prevent landings the entire stock like he did last time, and it yeah, is this, working already. The sounds okay. are so satisfying on on light on the light cables when you get a hit like. Oh my they goodness, really are. Music. Oh, the decent, really are. Oh, another decent. Oh, it's gonna oh, can I mean, gonna yes, get back can. to. Wait, he no, didn't touch. I thought no, he, he didn't touch there. Sandstorm has a little bit more of the momentum going into this next like minute or so. And we're seeing the turn neutral layers a lot. Landares and downlights. It's really getting into oh Sandstorm. And overall, I mean, Sandstorm's in the orange. Guichibu is out in the red of that final stock. It might be a knockout option. He didn't go for the edge guard there. He just went for the hammer. He knows hammer is the preferred 
weapon when he wants to kill it here. Let's see if he can close it out here. The chase dodge into the GC D-Light, into the ground pound. That's going to be enough. That is one stronger aspect of Linfei that Mako doesn't actually have at her disposal is the fact that Cannon does have that true KO confirmed with the D-Light into the, into the neck. Reacher were looking for an off-stage interaction. Might just save himself with the neutral air to get a chase dodge and wrenched. Doesn't have the options. Gets Ooh. hit by the side air. Weapon throw as well. Wrenched. Ooh. Has nothing left. He's going to fall down. To try and maybe squeeze himself out of uh, Guichimo's Kataras, but Guichimo's going to be coming out fierce about this. Throws oh. gauntlets immediately yeah. away. Now goes, throws cannon away, immediately away to try and build up all this damage from Guichimo. Anime oh, is so, no. so hesitant to try and approach. Can't land a single hit. 20 seconds in Guichimo. These guys are ready to go at it. Oh, he misses his read there, but still racks up some damage. Um, just playing around each other right now. Sensum throws a hammer away, does not like the hammer into Katara's matchup. And the Bell just constantly building this damage so far. Has control over the stage. Finally, Sensum gets a weapon. It's that D-Light though, but Bell is going to space it out perfectly and go for that side light. And again, he's just spacing out those side lights, leading into a string here. Could have went for that GC D light. Sensum dodges it again. Oh, the D light ends oh. again. That's going to work for him. That's a zero to death on the second stock. No dodge. It's a Rip weapon throw down. Oh, the end. He missed it. He missed the neutral signature. Guichibu with a two piece punish. And Guichibu beats Sandstorm. Oh Side light arrow puts Guichibu from orange to red. It is looking not too great here if you are a Guichibu fan. Sorry. You know, one Sair, one side sig, it does not look good. Fishing for a dare. Weechibo knows that. He's, he's trying to play a little bit higher than Shark Stop. Beautiful read! Oh my, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! If you saw the Lance coming out against Luna when he felt like it, it felt necessary. It's definitely a case of Darwin being a player who sort of feels out how his opponent's playing and figures out which weapon is better, but I think he just thinks that the, the scythe is more comfortable, oh, but he didn't touch. regardless of didn't comfort, touch. a completely clean stock coming out of Grishabu. First stock of Megni gone, Raidish coming in, um, not able to get a weapon right off the bat because Grishabu just too good about that. Nair is looking to pressure, able to get that dodge out raid, able to go all the way down and chase oh. dodge to follow Raidish and get that <laughs> Okay, if he holds on to the Kataras here, we've seen two attempts, slow-mo, of him going off the side of the stage and trying to go for an early stock. Ground pound hits, gets the down light down air, goes for the stair, no! Doesn't get the jump read there, but that was the start of what it could've been a zero to knock out. Gets another nair, side light, D-light. So far, Zen can't touch him at all. Is Gucci going to make this comeback happen? This has all been him so far. He's certainly trying. He sees this, that game oh, falling away from land. him. Oh, he did get the landing, yeah, stuck air, it. Side oh, wait, the no stair kit, that's it, that's it. He's knocked out, there's no... He didn't oh, have it! You're, you're seeing that he's playing very patiently. He's trying to wait for a bit of a clearing to try and get the weapon. And he does get one now. Two lances on the screen for this blue team. Goichibu nice. trying to get the reads. He gets a down signature as Burrito gets sent Yo, flying. Izo's not going to be able to make his way back. Definitely looking a lot better than it did 15 seconds ago. I'll give him that. He absolutely oh, popped no, off, but they got a hold of good. him now. Weapon they, throw. Uh, Oh no, and they're just gonna post up. They're gonna force him to engage. Gucci be whiffing the down light. Trying to get a side air. Truck stop and snow looking there good. Is, there it is, the set up again. again. Gucci and Toast, they are your Galaxy Cup Blizzard 2v2 champions for North America. Oh, he switches the guitars. Boo. Boo. We need the NSIG. <laughs> the first Oh my time god. Ever. On today's stream, that we see Bikini Bottom, and at first, this might be the last time ever. Three, four, eight, six in a row! So, what are you doing? What the He's just gonna is? abandon. Is your spirit he, he gave up. up. He, gave he up. absolutely did give up. Oh my goodness.
I think that little sign of life might have to wait until game five, unless he's able to pull a miracle out right here. I mean, miracles do happen every day, so you never really know. What can you say? Nitro is starting to really kind of take him down on the guitars, and he's not stopping. Oh he has him read now. He has him downloaded. Spot dodge was clear as oh day. My Takes God. us to game five. We two is going crazy right now. It does have a bit of a lead considering the defense of the characters. This is, I know it kind of looks oh bad, but it's God. slightly better than no! it looks like it's supposed to be, but the desync! We two him out. taking the tournament 3 2, man. Congratulations. You are the Galaxy Cup Sub Zero champion. Yeah. <laughs> it's two stocks. Hitting down. that Dodger Freed. Look at the Dodger Way Reed. Wait, that's all. He could have won this. Oh, no. Oh, oh, my. Oh, got him! A minute and 24. Are you kidding me, Guichibu? The stock yet? Picks up Ken again. He's going to try it for it again. Yeah, he's going to keep on going for it. Look. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I see a Guichibu. Oh I God. saw a Guichibu goes ahead and wins Moose Wars round and rumble. A lot of strength. And Guichibu hasn't been evading everything. Guichibu has been getting hit quite a lot and drops dropping his entire keyboard on the floor i'm assuming because i don't know what just happened he let him know right there yep has to take him out with a good old-fashioned way delight into recovery guichi boo absolutely destroying in that final match guichi making it through top dog showed off to everybody in turn that hey i don't care what you guys believe I i'm him that's just it you ain't beating me you're all going home broke other character as we see that Finn go down on the side of Java and also Gooey is able to weapon star take the guitars right out from Java but the man's able to grab an axe recovery is actually also gonna get punished by two separate recoveries and he's not able to land back to stage a very unfortunate way to lose a second stock oh oh as a student, just really has to sit back, just like you said earlier, just like Richie do his thing. Um, so good at juggling in the air with those guitars at the casino. Oh, nice. nice. Okay, there we go. Pawned up with that nice recovery. Yeah, you just, all you gotta do is like Wichibu safely approach, <laughs> and then Asasino is there to punish any type of landing that the red team would have. But Asasino and Wichibu are your organized showdown 2v2 champions. Not even in this game, or in this game, not even in this set alone has been probably, you know, double digits the amount of times. The Sarah, oh my the God! No, you can't make it It's back. over! It. You're not getting back, dude! Make his first ever tournament victory. Java fighting oh. tooth and nail here. So, oh, and like doesn't go into a recovery, but which be one of those will be enough. Does he get the punish weapon throw? Doesn't confirm down air. Java no! options dwindling and he's gonna fall! Guichibu secures his first ever gold medal following up from his first ever medal in a ones tournament to begin with and wins out the trial of Boulder. Oh my goodness, this is down to the wire. Well played, Gucci. That's why you're so fucking good at this game. Good job. Keep that shit up, Gucci.